Okay guys, in this video I'm just going to show you how to use Magic Lantern's um, remote shooting features. So this can be great if you've forgotten your remote shutter. Um, as I said, I use Magic Lantern on every single memory card I own. So um, yeah, if you forget your remote shutter or, you know, say you, you just don't have room for it to uh, mount on your hot shoe or something, you can use one of these options. Just go into your Magic Lantern menu. In your shooting menu, notice down the bottom, we've got all these options. Uh, LCD sensor remote. This can be handy. Um, if I turn that one on, and we're going to live view so you can see what I'm doing. When I take my finger near the sensor, it automatically takes a photo. So that can be really handy if you just don't want to touch the camera, but you want to have a nice sort of reaction time. Okay. The next one we're going to do is audio remote shot. This one's really cool. You can have, I can imagine people having a lot of fun with this one. Um, so this works off audio. So say for example, let's just get that in focus so we actually can take a photo or something. You can clap your hands, pop a balloon, any sort of loud noises, um, click your fingers, um, any sort of stuff. It uses the camera's microphone to automatically take a photo when you need to. So that's a really cool one, that one. Okay. Next one is motion detect. Um, what we'll do is we can actually change these. So if we take, so we go exposure change, trigger level, uh, make it really sensitive just for the exercise. As soon as the exposure changes, which can also come down to something moving in front of it, it automatically takes a photo. Um, that can be really cool if you want to set up your camera somewhere and say you've got birds walking across there and your little bird comes up and tweet, 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 and you take a photo of it. Um, obviously I've got manual focus set on this at the moment. 